Hi there, Victoria. Oh dear. Today, I finally went and watched the video with the lights. I don't know where these people are getting this information from. I really don't. Or how they're getting that, inf how they come to that conclusion. So we're going to be looking at that today. And as I said, I posted on my Facebook page. And I put something like, what do you all think? I'll give you my version on my live tonight. And I will. And we will also be looking at the Wilson Centre for Nature Discovery. That is where the photo was taken of, hopefully, Sebastian. So, we've got that. And there's a lot of things there. There's a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. It's there for children, for adults, everyone. And then you've got these people, I swear to God, I'm getting a bit annoyed now. You go on the Facebook page and all you're seeing is, this is a woman, that knows this woman. I'm thinking, I'm not even going to comment because it's been out there now since, what, two days ago? And Seth confirmed yesterday that that woman in that picture, he does not know. The woman with that lad in that picture, he does not know. The woman with him in the car is a friend, is one of the searchers. And that's when I was talking to the, um, I stood by his car and I was talking to, I don't know if they said TBI or Cajun United, United Cajun Navy. It's one of them. It was at that park where they was doing that big search, where they got kicked off. So, and I knew it was a, a, a young, um, a photo from a couple of months ago because of his haircut. He's let his sides growing a bit since not being at work. I think he needs to have his head, the sides, the sides done again. I liked him better like that. Anyway. So, I've got this picture up today because I'm thinking, you don't want to see me. Let's look at Sebastian while we talk and while we chat. Because this is what we're here for, this lad here. You know what I mean? We're here for him. No one else. Not his mum, not his stepdad. And, we, and if Seth could do this, he'd probably say, not for me either. We're here for Sebastian. And that is it. But we are here for Seth. Because we want to make sure he's he's keeping himself well. And he's eating properly. And hopefully getting some sleep. And that the injury or the muscle or whatever he had problems with his neck and shoulder, that is getting fixed. So, we're just hoping that he stays well. Because one way or the other, we're bringing him home. We're bringing this light home. And I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I want to be proved like, everyone, I've said, stated my opinion on here and my and what I think may have happened. Just through the wordings of what Katie has said. But I'm hoping he did walk out of the house. I'm hoping he has run away. Or I'm hoping they did hand him over to someone else. You know what I mean? So that 
they could work on their marriage. Because I know for a fact, uh, Chris said in that first interview, he didn't expect it to erupt or take off like it did. He was expecting the police to go, yeah, okay, he's a runaway. He'll come home when he's ready. Right? They do their usual searches. They did do their usual searches, the big searches, the helicopters, the drones, horseback, search teams, uh, river searches, everything. They've done all that. And they covered a large area. Hold on. <coughs> and they covered a large area. So you can't say they haven't. You can see on that uh, video with Nick Berries when he goes to the control place. The main, the main place where they go all up on their big screens. Everything they've done, everywhere they've covered. So you can't say they haven't done it. They have done it. But, and an investigation can take a long time. can take a long time. They need to know that whatever in, information they get, and they've got enough information that if they go to court, if they do arrest someone and it goes to court, it will stick and that person will get their punishment. They can't let this go to, to trial, arrest someone, charge them, and then, I don't know, in some states they have something like a 60-day thing or 90-day where they have to have it up and ready and ready for trial in I think it's sixty or ninety days. Right? So the longer they take now with getting all the information they need, all the evidence they need together, at least then when the charges are if charges are brought forward. And either way some charges are gonna come. Because if Sebastian is alive and someone has took him in, right, for whatever reason, then they will be up on charges for kidnapping. Right? So they need to get all the ducks in a row. In a row. And that can take a while. That can take a long time. Look at... Who was it with the two boys that went missing? The the mother and father adopted. They adopted these two young boys. It was two years after they went missing that they arrested those two parents. And they haven't found their bodies. They never found those bodies. Still haven't to, to this day that I know of. Believe me, I'm watching every YouTube channel, every news, every news channel in the USA that come up on YouTube, everything. So, I'm watching. I've just heard about a, a shooting in a school in Wisconsin just before coming on. No, apparently there were no children injured because he fired the shots outside the school. So the school went on immediate lockdown, right? And police were coming and they neutralised the person. You don't know if, it, if they killed him, killed him, or if they've injured him and arrest and got him that way. Because a Medi helicopter was called in and that was just coming over just as I was coming on live. Just before I come on live. So, but they said there's no other casualties, so that's good. But as I said, it can take years to get the, all the evidence they need before they make charges. All right? So people are going, oh, but they're not doing their job. We don't know if they're not doing their job. 
They might not be talking to us, but they don't have to talk to us. Law enforcement and TBI and FBI, whoever, they don't need to talk to us. However, it would be nice if they did a press release and said whether this is Sebastian or not. Now, Seth has said he believes this is Sebastian, that lad in that picture. Right. And let's see if i got that picture. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, God. See if I can put this way. Oh, okay. Um, let's get it up. And let's present. What am I looking for? Oh, can you declare? Cancel. Oh God! I'm not doing it now. I was able messing about earlier, and I was able to do it earlier, but I can't do it now. So I'm going to add it to here. I'll just add it into overlays. So where is it? Right, this picture. He's he's quite sure this is his son Sebastian. And people are saying about his foot here. Hang on, see if I can. Mm. Why can't I get it to go? No, but I'm gonna go in my email. I can do. It. I can do it then. I can zoom in. But it's you look. Look at a lot, this one picture of him. Come on, mouse. Oh, God's sake, get off. Uh. This one, I can share it. I'll present it again. Right. And it's now in a picture where he's standing with the trophy, you can see his one leg just coming a little bit, and the other leg just come in front of that. So, and something else also pointed out this t shirt is wearing it in one. He's wearing the same, I wouldn't say the same one. I can't swear that it's the same one. But let's have a look. Um, let's get your file, let's get your camera now. Just have a few slides. 
Ajá. Ok. Pero, um, they're saying about the legs. I think it is Sebastian. I really hope and pray it is. You know what I mean? And this woman, this woman may not have anything to do with this. I'll show you something, Ron. I'll go into Google Maps. I did try Google Earth, but we're going to do it on Google Earth. Because people are being like, oh, but there's no leaves on the trees. You know, I've had people go up the last day or so, drive up there, right, from that same spot, and you can see there's no leaves on the front trees, right? Why isn't this going off my screen? Take this off there. Right. Is it going back there? Yeah. Right. Oh, but the shades all wrong. The shading from the sun. We don't even know what time that photo was taken. Like, the sun was right above this canopy. Right? There's not going much. Right? And I'm going to get rid of it. My screen. See if I can pull it up again. See if I can pull it. Um. Can we get that in a minute? Right. Now I noticed in the picture. Right. See in the picture, see in the picture that bush, that log stump, the stump there, right? Well, I was watching a YouTuber this morning, he was saying, he, well he wasn't saying, he thought, no, 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 The cat leg. <clears throat> God, okay. Let's turn around. Oh, it come from up here. Actually, he thought it was here, right? From this corner. And I was looking at the picture and I thought, hold on. Hold on. For some reason, I'm not as technical as some people who can get another picture up on the screen at the same time. Well, if you look at this picture, hold on, I'm going to pull it up again. Right? This woman is walking round the curb. She's walking that way round the curb. And just behind, I'm going to call him Sebastian. Sebastian, there's a tree stump. Right? Now, there's the curb the woman was walking around. Yeah? There's this post. 
that Sebastian was. I can't get a big, better angle for some reason. That's why I tried to go on Google Earth, see if I could get a better angle and it wouldn't let me. So, it, it just won't let me. Anyway, come up here. Oh no, back. Back, back. Just said. No, oh, just in front of this car, I'll get one over. Oh, God. There's that tree stump. Right. So, Sebastian, you're being here. Just see the other side of this post. Right, because there's another man here. We don't know who the man was. He may have been with the woman. Right? Now, from the act, Sebastian was walking. Right? I don't think there's anything to do with this woman. I really don't. And he was coming off that curb. Right, he's stepping off that curb. There. He could have been going. I don't know to show you. See how he's stepping off. He could step off that curb there. He could have been making his way over here. To this pathway here. With whoever. If he's with another lad or a family. What is that? We don't know. But he could have been. Because of the head I can go to. And I'm going to see if I can get that up on the maps. Right. So, we're, he's here. I'm going to shout here. Yep. He's walking this way. And there's this area here. He could be making his way to, or here where they could park a car. So many different places they can park, cars can park. It really is. Like, there's that, there's all these car parks here. There's another car park here. And if you go along, the forest gump This car park hiker parking. It's more for hikers, people who want to go on the trails, right? Then you got this car park here. And but back here. And you know what? I'm going to have to watch that forest gump film. Where Forrest Gump was. <laughs> oh, she's cat. No, it's not them. But there's a sign, and it says the. F Right. Oh, I swear to God, this cat. Hold on. So does it to get my pension? Does it? They always start when they come alive. Right. I think there's a natural sign along here somewhere. Is it going to let me go? No. Oh, 
Oh, God, say, no, come back. Uh, I didn't want to go. All right, let's take out of here again. Uh, so, that's, right, and just there, you can see, is it crossing? That woman was heading towards that. She's been heading up to this car park, right? But Sebastian, as we know, we don't know yet, was heading this way. The woman was heading that way. Sebastian was heading this way. So that woman may not, this woman may not have anything to do with it. But she hasn't come forward and said anything. I don't know if she's on YouTube, don't know if she sees Facebook, I don't know if she knows anyone. You know what I mean? But she's not come forward. Now, surely someone will know someone who knows someone who knows this woman. Yeah? They say there's one in, every, one in six people you know who will know you, who knows you, and you know someone else. Right? Something like that. But she hasn't come forward. So... In my eyes, I'd like to think that someone will know who she is and has at least told her. Because her picture's been plastered all over YouTube, all over these Facebook pages, everywhere. On Twitter, Instagram, uh, what's the other one? TikTok. Her picture is everywhere. So you think, oh my God, I'm on YouTube, I'm on this. Oh my God, I'm going to have to get someone to write, put something up about this. You know what I mean? Or find one of the groups and come on to me. <coughs> and just say, look, this is me. I don't know who that lad is behind me. You know what I mean? But nothing. Now, this picture has been up there since when? When did it go up? Monday? Sunday on Monday? It's now Wednesday. So, but no, she hasn't come forward. Hold on, I've just got to hold to my chair. Comfy. Sorry. So, where well, there's a woman who's with Seth, she has come forward. Right? So we can drop her out the equation. She had nothing to do with this in the first place. You know what I mean? Why people thought she was even looks like her, this woman, I don't know because this woman's got a, like what I call, I'm old fashioned, a fringe. But nowadays they call them banks or whatever. So this woman's got like that, a fringe. And most women now, even I wear my hair like that in a bun. Tied up in a bun sometimes. Or. Oh. Sometimes it's a ponytail with my cap on in the summer. So, but she hasn't come forward. Now, has law enforcement, the woman who took this photo, the phone, well, no, she sent the picture to TBI. Hold on, hold on. Let's just get some extra. Hey! Oh, just had to distract my cat. But um, she said, the woman who put the post up, I said, the woman who took the photo did send it to the TBI on the Saturday. Right? And law enforcement, I believe. But me, I'm sorry, 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 but <clears throat> I'd have sent it to law enforcement. I'd have phoned law enforcement at first. 
And if I said, oh, we don't know nothing about a Sebastian Rogers game, it's and say, wow, look on your bolo. Look on your messages. Look on the Amber Alerts. It's there. Get someone out here now. And then I will send the information to TBI. Right? Now, people can be a bit funny if you're taking photos of children, which I can't understand. I would be. If I'm out for a nice day out somewhere and someone's taking photos of my child, I'd be ripping the phone out of hand and deleting those pictures. You know what I mean? The cat's got his head in a bag. That's it, you. One of these guys, this cat's going to get his head stuck in a thing or something. And I won't be there to help you. But no, um, so she did report it to the police, but I just think perhaps she isn't one who's following this case. She may not be following this case. Perhaps she has just seen a flyer about this lad and thought, oh my God, that looks similar to the lad on that flyer I've seen. You know what I mean? Perhaps he doesn't follow YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or anything like that, Facebook. But at least she did give the information to TBI and everything on the Saturday. So they've had this information since Saturday. Right, now, let's go into this again. And we're going to go in. Let's go in, ladies and gentlemen. Over here. To the crossing. And if you look on that picture as well, there's rocks as well. There's a lot of sort of rock behind him. Now, let's see if I can pull it up. See those rocks? That's what makes me more inclined to believe that it was here. Right. Right. And people have showing among other YouTubers that these trees are bare. They haven't come out in leaves yet. I don't know if they will. I don't know. I don't know what sort of tree it is. But they have been out okay, there. And as I said, you know that guy in the picture? Who's cutting across here? Yeah, he he was cut. There's a guy who was stepping across here, a woman walking that way. But then, is it in this? I'm gonna see. Where the is. Yeah, hold on. Then there's a, someone else walking this way, right? You just saw the leg or whatever, or the foot of him. But I think if that is Sebastian, he's could. Yeah. Right? The woman was going that way. The man behind him was going that way. Those could be together. The man and woman could be together. They could be husband and wife. And the way over the road. Over here. To go up this path, to go to this car. Now, if Sebastian was with them, why wouldn't he cut across the rocks this way, that, the way that man did? Or why didn't he just down the road and walk around the road like the woman? It doesn't make sense for him to be coming off these rocks heading that way. 
Nothing's got anything to do with this. If that is Sebastian, he's definitely with someone. <coughs> Who? <coughs> we don't know. Also. I don't know if... Clock cameras to you? Or are they just lights? There's one there. Just here. There's a lot of whatever it is, whether they're lights or cameras, about. See what I mean? This could there be cameras? I don't know. But somewhere, they would have him on their film. Now, someone else to say, since Saturday, the cameras are down. They're not running. Don't know why. Has, because I can't understand if TBI have been there or FBI you know, been across state lines. If FBI had been there and took their footage, they'd have new footage. They'd have new stuff put in, wouldn't they, to record. Yep. Yeah. So... But they've got to look at all that, and they would see the bigger picture as well. We're only seeing a little picture on them cameras. They'll probably see more people who could be with that lad, with Sebastian. As I, I was, I'll call him Sebastian because that's the closest we've got so far as a possible sighting, right down to the shoes. The trousers, black trousers. And I wish I could pull up that picture. That, hold on, I'm going to see if I can. Um, let's see. Let's go into my files. There's a... I must have that picture. With Sebastian, because I've got loads. Oh, can I hundred percent this? Um. I don't know, I don't, I don't see it. I'll have to try and figure out how to share things off out of a file. Because I can share a video file, but just, and I can make it do a slides, but I can't, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I'll put it up another one. I will get it up somehow. All right, let me just get into this. I've got to go through all these photos of Sebastian. I'm sure I've got that picture I should have somewhere. I've got so many photos of him. No. Let's see if he can speak. No. Right, I'm just looking here. It's so annoying when you know
Um, so annoying because I know I've got the photo somewhere and I can't find it, but someone did put it on a Facebook page, so I'm going to see if I can put it up on there. And I thought, I've got that picture, I've got that picture. I don't think I have. Unless it's some just can't find it. Right. Uh, let's share this tab. Right. Uh, pictures and videos and everything just comes is put up on this page daily. They have got 32, 35.2k members. Exactly, someone's just put up here, right? You would think if that photo wasn't Sebastian, someone would come forward and say, say it's their kid or something. But no one's said anything. Yeah, and there's 35,200 members on here. Someone would recognise the lady and can't, can't... Surely someone on this group, or even all the other groups that are out there, would know this lady. Someone would know her. Right. I'm going to try and... No, it could be. Right. Next. I just got to be on here somewhere. People are trying to find things on this page. Did anyone see the um, T Red show? Why? Right. I can come off. My mouse stops doing the jig. My mouse has a habit of doing a jig around the screen. It's so annoying. Right now, I'm going to go um, back and Come on, come on. Uh -huh. Right, just make sure you can see this. Phone's on, so I don't, you don't get any backlash. But this was... Phone call.
thứ gì Ah, you like a full of it. Hold on, just got stuff down. Now, did you hear that? Hi. So, this my phone to Rebel. It said he was the cousin to Chris. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I do know for a fact. Like I said, most of the family don't speak to them because I know for a fact that uh, Chris's half brother he don't have nothing nothing to do with that family to do with the family either. He doesn't. So it's a shame. People are dragging the family into this because it, if they don't live there, then why? Do, and they've got no connection to Sebastian. Why drag people into this? Why? It doesn't make sense. Now, I think if that is his cousin, I think Chris will be making a phone call. But I don't know. Could be his cousin. May not have been his cousin. It could have been some wacko making out in your with me. It was his cousin. You know what I mean? Because it, there was someone else he was talking to in the room because he's saying, Zach, when you come on, and he said, Is this anonymous? He didn't want his name put out there. Why? If you're his cousin, he's going to know who you are. Right? He's going to know who you are if you're his cousin, if that's true. So why would I, why say I don't put my name, make it anonymous? But he's got his number. He's got his number. He logged his number straight away. t -Rev did. And um, the area code. And apparently it's a... I believe he said it was a Florida number, and that's where the guy said he lived, Florida, somewhere around right there. So it could be his cousin, I don't know. But believe me, to start off, that was the first phone call he got that morning. First phone call as soon as he opened up the lines. And he does it every morning. Right? And sometimes it does some on the evenings. It's not got set times as when he comes on. Sometimes it could be in the morning, sometimes in the evening. Right? So, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. You, as I said, we're going to get these wackos coming out of the woodwork and say, I know where Sebastian is. I've got your son. I want this amount of money. You know what I mean? It's so, it's just ridiculous now. And these people are playing into the YouTubers' hands. Because, look at me, I've just played it now on here. And I'm sure everyone else will be playing it on their YouTube channels. Right? Because it's so out of here. It's just way out of there. So, I don't know, I'll let you decide that yourself, what you think. But, right, let's see. Going back to this. Oh, yeah, I got it. I can keep that on a minute. Um, 
what was I going to talk about? Yeah, I wanted to talk about... So I'm the one I need to get that off. I do need to get that off. Google Maps. Where's my Google Maps? Um, let's check that out. So, as you can see, you've got all these lights or... I just think if these are lights, why are they facing upwards sort of thing? They're like facing towards that car park. Could be lights. You know what I mean? But are we... This one's oh. this one's facing up and over, and it's facing falling in because the is down here. So I don't know. It could be lights, but there's got to be cameras there. And as I said, the FBI will. TBI had that on Saturday. If they logged it straight away and they checked it straight away, they'd be getting into control because it's over state lines. FBI would be going there, pulling all the camera footage from that day. Right? Every bit of it, wherever they got camera. Right? They'd pull it. You to know where that lag, where else did that lag go in that park? Right? And um, now I'm dark. Just what they do is not a very long one. All right, it's just a short one. It's not very long, so I'm just going to play it now, just so you can see, get a quick idea of what they do. Fine. Um, That's it, Forest Gump Curve. There it is. I'm going to have to watch that film again. But look at the views for the hikers. And that bridge. Oh, my God. Couldn't go on that bridge. No way. Sorry. No way. Not in my life could I go on that bridge. Right. So... I'm going to, where is it? Get rid of that. No, not that. Get rid of that. Oh, God. Uh, what was it? I want, oh, Google Maps, wasn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to go on here. All right. And. Got a bridge. It's the only way you. If I lived in the USA, this is the only way you will get me on this bridge. Right. Now the bridge is over here somewhere. Right, now we don't know if they went on the bridge. Here it is. This is the only way you'll get me on this bridge. And be honest with you, I was doing it early. I did it earlier and I felt sick then. And that was just by going on Google Maps. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Stupid little man. Where's he landed me? Where's this stupid little man landed me? Probably in the middle of nowhere. The mile house. Right. 
I'll just put on a bridge, right? But look at the views from that bridge. <laughs> I not want for heights. I'm reeling off. I can't even go over a bridge in a car without having to cover my eyes. I can't. I feel physically sick. And I live by a, where I live, there's a bridge. I have walked in the car and back. And every time it's like, I can't look. I can't look. But at least when you walk across, you are in the middle of the bridge. You're not on the edge. Road going one way, road going the other. So you're in the middle of the walk. So it's not so bad walking the bridge. Going and crossing a car where you can over no. So this is the swing bridge. Now, have they got cameras on here? Let's have a look. Zoom, zoom, zoom. If you've got any cameras. Right, let's have a look. What's on this? I don't know. I've got cameras on the other side. Oh, God. Oh, God. My stomach is turning over here. But if they've got cameras anywhere along this bridge, uh, either side of this bridge. Come on. Is that the brown man? They've got cameras anywhere on here. God, that's even worse, that view. Check all their cameras they've got in that park to see where else this lad was seen, if he was seen with anyone, whether he was talking to anyone. You know what I mean? So, load limit, 40 persons on bridge at one time. If there's me and one other person on that bridge, I'd be having kittens. I tend to walk in the, if I have to go across a bridge like that, or even a little bridge, I go across little bridges, foot bridges, across little streams. And I mean little streams, where if you're falling, you just got to get your feet wet, right? I walk in the middle of the bridge. I literally walk where I can put my hands to the sides. And if I can't reach the sides, then I know I'm in the middle. And if something else is coming towards me, it's like, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. You've got to go around. You've got to go around me. I am not moving. I'm going straight, straight in that middle of that bridge. Because I'm not one for bridges. I never have been. So let's take this off. But oh, here we are. All right, this is the bridge. So it says forty people per load. Oh, wow. Hey, the views are outstanding. I can understand why they've got this bridge built there. Right? But for some reason, it won't let me get past this man. 
don't know why. It's like it's stopped there. It won't let me get over there. Right, and from what I can make out, I'll go. Let's see if I can get an overview of it. Right, that's my hard bridge. I don't know what is actually over there. And it's just... What's this? Okay. It's just an, an attraction for people to walk along. Or for people to get on there and start flying. Like a little baby like me. I'll be going, can't do this. So, but that's the bridge, the mile high swinging bridge. Now, if it didn't say swinging bridge and it didn't move and it was solid and it didn't sway from side to side like it can do, right? It won't swing that high, bad, but it does move, can move from side to side. If it didn't do any of that, I'd be a lot more comfortable, but I would still be walking in the middle of that bridge because I have this fear that I, I could tip over the sides, you know what I mean? Or someone could knock me and I could go flying over the sides. I have that fear. But there's that. So the kneading over the went if he went there. Did you go on any of the did you go on any of these? Oh, there's a mountain top shop there, right. But you can get there by car park as well. Right. So you can drive up there, which is this road. Go to the mountain top shop. Then you got this road here for hiker park. For people who are going to go hiking. Because this is where all the trails are. Now, have they got cameras on all these trails? Right? I would hope so. Right, so they've got to look at so much footage, if that is the case, because they need to know where this lag range. Why does law enforcement keep... Right. Why does law enforcement keep the public hanging? They could put certain speculations to rest about this photo. Not communicating now, investigating causes mistrust. It does, yes. This is what I'm saying is because law enforcement, I said this weeks and weeks and weeks ago. I said once law enforcement stopped talking, that's when people will start speculating and coming up with their own theories. Right? And then about two or three weeks later, I said, you watch, we're going to have all the cranks coming out now. And what did we have? We had that one guy saying he had uh, uh, Sebastian, and he was going to speak to Seth, and he wanted so much money. Right? Then we've had this other guy saying that he saw Sebastian getting into... Uh, C CP's mother's car. So, and then we've got this lag today on T Web saying he's the cousin of CP. So, we're going to get all the cranks coming out. But, and it doesn't help with the law enforcement not keeping the public up to date. But as I said, they're keeping everything very close to the chest. If this is, I hope to God, this is what they're doing. They're keeping all the information close to their chest because they can't afford one little bit to be released. Not one word could be released. Right? But what I don't understand is why won't they release the video of Sebastian coming out of um, the Texas Roadhouse with his mother? Why, why won't they release the footage? The door? Now, I'm going to mention this doorbell footage of him taking being out. Now, a lot of people have been saying, and 
I I meant to look it up, but I'm just a bit tired this afternoon. So I was just having a little nap. But a lot of people said there's like a, a certain distance a camera at a door ring doorbell can pick you up, be it 10 feet or 15 feet. Now, if we go to... Hold on, let's come up here. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Right, we're going to go to 108, right? Come on. Oh, God, why does it take so much to load up? Take my little man. Will you stop running off on me, little man? Oh, I'm going to go so mad in a minute. Right? And there's their house, right? Yeah, and I bring the bins down to here. Yep. Yeah. Now they're relying on this house here. Not this house. I don't think it's this house they're relying on. They're relying on for the ring doorbell for Yeah. Or oh, even if it wasn't this house, this house door is up there. So how on earth is it going to catch them? At their they catch the bedroom lights going on and off. Right? <coughs> but for a ring doorbell, I've been told it has to have something to trigger. The recording. Yep. So you can have it set for a distance, a certain distance. So if you don't want uh, people who are walking past your house to trigger it every flipping five minutes, then you trigger it, you set the settings a lot lower to like say 10 feet. Yeah, that's just walking up your path then to your door. So, please, how on earth, oh no, I'm going to pull it up here. If he's there, putting his bins out there, that house is definitely not going to get him on the wing door. This house is only going to catch him to about there. I can't see them having their settings any further than the curb. Right? Right, so you got that. So you got the door there. And you got the curb. How's he going to catch them going over here? So they must have their cameras, their doorbell settings very high. They must have it more than 10 feet if it's catching someone over here. And the same with this house over here. But why would this house here, even if it was this house, or even if it was... Oh. This house, how would they... How would their ring doorbell activate a bedroom light being switched on and off? How would that activate their ring doorbell? It has to be a cat or a dog or something going past that their their limits, their settings to trigger it. Because my son said I can't have one on my front door. Because I'm invading other people's privacy. I said, what about my security? <laughs> you know what I mean? I get every time Dick and Flipping Harry knocking on my door. I don't know who they are. 
and I'd love to know, and I've had parcels delivered and left by my door, and I have took a photo so it's come to my phone. I'm thinking, thanks, it's not going to be there when I get home. And it hasn't been because some little tow rag has come up on that floor, one of my neighbours at the time has come up, seen that parcel and took it in, and then denied even having it. If I had a ring doorbell, I would see all that going on because it would set, it would trigger that person come to my door within a certain distance. It would trigger it and it would come up on my phone and I'd see the little blight. Right? But I've been told by my son I can't have that sort. So the one I've got is you have to ring the doorbell first, then it comes through on my phone. And it'll show me who's at the door, and I can answer it from my phone then. I can speak to them from my phone. But nine times out of ten, it shows me who's at the door, I'll just go and answer it, because I know who it is. Right? If I don't know who it is, then I say, can I help you? And they look, oh, oh, where did that voice come from? But it only sets the, uh, the bell up, my trigger off, once the doorbell is wrong. That way I'm not spying on anyone. I'm only answering it if someone rings my doorbell. But it doesn't catch the little toe rags taking my parcel from my front door. Right? Does anyone know where there's a man behind the bus who looks like? Uh, there was a man behind Sebastian look alike, look alike. Yeah. Are you thinking that is CP's stepfather, Karen? Um, Karen, because that's been mentioned before. Oh, what was the other one? Wow. What was the video law enforcement showed only Katie and Seth at the police station a few weeks ago? CP said proof of life was at CP's home with district attorney. Well, this was what uh, Chris was saying the other night on that live. He said to Seth, you was in that office with law enforcement, TBI and district attorney. Why is the district attorney there if it's, a, if it's not a criminal investigation? They wouldn't be there. Anyway, he said, you've seen proof of life. He said, yes, I saw a video of him coming out of Texas Roadhouse, but the other video they showed me of him putting the rubbish out, it's too grainy, too dark, couldn't tell. You couldn't see nothing. That's what I'm saying. That neighbour with the ring doorbell must have their settings quite a distance to set their ring doorbell off. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to have it set up 30 feet, are you? Because it'd be, every time a car went past, it'd be setting it off. So you'd set it normally at about 10 feet. About 10 feet from your front door, 10, 15 feet. Which is like the, from the curb to the front door. So why is her doorbell catching Sebastian taking the rubbish out? Right? I can understand it catching the car, maybe, as it comes up. Yeah? Because that's a bigger thing. And it takes up more of the road. So that you have to come up to turn. That would set her doorbell off. Her door video off. And then she'd probably see him skipping around from the post box to the front door. And then coming back. You know what I mean? She'd have all that on them because it's already been triggered by the car. But what has triggered the doorbell to catch Sebastian putting the bins out? Because I swear to God, you wouldn't have them set so hard. Right, here we are again. That's the doorbell. That's their drive. Why would you have your doorbell setting to catch 
movement on this side of the path. Because that means every time a car goes up the road, every time a car comes down the road, or someone walks up, or down that way, it's going to trigger every time. You wouldn't. I'd have mine set because of her path as well. Right? We would only pick them up. If they come up their pathway, it would probably pick them up round about... Round about here. Right? Gotta start picking them up round about here. Because of the curve. So, why would you have your setting on your ring doorbell to catch people? Well, not even there. It's here. Sorry. So, okay. so her doorbell is there. Yeah? If that was their driveway, okay. But it isn't next to their driveway. So what is triggering her doorbell to be set up? That's my question. Okay. Hold on. Does anyone know... Oh, that one. Does anyone know where the location of where CP was working that Saturday? I believe he will be found between their home and CP's job site. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he was, on jobs, he was on his job site at 5.15 a.m. in the morning. Although, he didn't have to start work till 7 a.m. Does anyone else go to work that early? If you don't have to start till 7? I know I will not does the woman have the same type of snake, snake as the Sebastians look alike on? I can't. Uh, the woman in the picture. Let's have a look. Next crap. Oh, no, crap. Let's have a look. Possible. Oh, no. Possible. Possible. See, if I'm just zooming too far, this bit here. Zooms. So, um, I hadn't noticed that one, but I still don't think she's with him. I really don't, because he's coming this way. Oh, swear to God. Sebastian's coming this way. He's coming that way. And this might be... He's going to take a Google Maps. Let's have a look. Okay. Come off there. Right, we'll go to here again. Uh, oh, right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. I mean, this way. Mum, walking this way. Sebastian is just the other side. I can't get round that way for some reason. It won't let me. So we'll go this way. So the woman was walking that way. Sebastian was on the curb here, walking, stepping off the curb as to go that way. That's why I think. And the bloke who's on the rocks, well, he was going that way. 
So I think that bloke and that woman here up to the car park. Why? Now Sebastian, as I, I'll call it Sebastian, because I truly believe it, that's the closest we've got to a possible sighting. Right, Sebastian was here. And he was facing that way. And that over, there's another area you can go to. And there's a car park. Now, as I said, on that photo, it just showed the woman here, some other guy coming this way, walking this way, and another man here walking here. We don't know if there's anyone here with him. Okay. Come across here. I mean, he's walking down the road that we don't know. But hopefully, I don't know if the cameras or lights. What do you say? Could that be a camera? We have cameras around somewhere. I know they have. But you see that those cameras then, wherever they are, would and they'd be able to follow where that lag was, right? On the videos. Now, if he has come off this and followed this woman round, I don't see that because it looks like that woman and even that man, I'm going to bring that man into it, has just come from here. They may have been in there using the, the washrooms, right? So it looks like they've come out there, come across here, she's gone that way, the man's gone this way, and they're heading towards the car park. Sebastian is here, the other side of this post. And he's, he's going that way. Now, do we know if there was anyone else with him? Say... Here, right. we don't know because we got we only got this bit. We didn't get nothing. Out. We literally got. I'd say the woman would say here. She took that photo. Maybe over here, I don't know. Right, she the photo, and he, she's over here some. Got this tree trunk in it. She's got the man coming across the rocks there. She's got a woman coming across. And at an angle, she was able to. I'd say she was over here somewhere because of the angle where she's got these cars in the picture. And she got these rocks in the picture. Now, let's show you the picture. Carrying the video they showed Seth with Katie, there was Texas Road as video Katie and Sebastian. Yeah, but why won't they release that one? Why won't they release that video? CP said that the video was that he's had. That one was the bin. That has to be the bins. I've heard of no, no other video. Right? This is what's. I can't understand. How can a ring doorbell? They must have their settings on quite quite a distance. All I can say. To to pick for someone to come down their driveway, which is slightly off their angle of their front door. Right, it's to the side of their front door. Their neighbour's driveway is more head on with them. With their front door. So their driveway is just off to the side of that neighbour's front door with the ring doorbell. Now, for someone to trigger their doorbell, they've got to hit that. Just say they've got it set at 15 feet. Just say they have. I don't know. Then anything within 15 feet and less is going to trigger the doorbell. Right? 
and then it comes up on your phone and it will record, right? Or it comes up on whatever, whatever thing you set it on, and it records. But on women's sneakers, they might have gone shopping to get the new sneakers. Yeah. As I said, I tried, um, hold on, I'll do it again, oh no, I can't do it this way, sorry, can't do it this way, I have to go this way, right, they do look very similar, but I just don't think she, this woman, is with him, because she's going that way, this guy's going that way, and Sebastian's coming this way. Why would he be stepping down from these rocks to follow her? Why do, if he was going to go the same way, he'd be going the way the man was going, if you know what I mean. He'd be going that way. Yeah? But he's not. He's coming the opposite way. Oh, I'll see if I can pull up a, another picture. Um, right. right, let's get this off. No, is this it? No, I wanted the, um, no. No, that's just the hair buttons. No, so... Then they do look the same. I see where you're coming from. 25 dollars to get it just in that place or to spend your whole day at the uh, whole park because it was 25 dollars for a, hot, a day at that park then I would I would pay it. You know what I mean? I don't know if they have recessions for children under a certain age, maybe, or whatever. But I definitely pay the $25 to go there, in there. You know what I mean? Because they've got so much to do. They've got all that. Oh, God, I'll show you the video. Um, the short video I put together. Right? They have so much going on in there for the children. They've got animals. They've got everything. They got activities inside. This must be the trail. They got birds, falcons, owls, the forest gumpful. And look at the views. Oh my lord. They got the bridge that you wouldn't get me on. But you got all this trail. You know what I mean? There's so much to do there. So if it's £25 a day, for the whole day, then yeah, I will definitely pay it. Because I can guarantee you that will tie the children out. You get home and they'll be can't out for the night, you know what I mean? So... But I've got something for everyone. If you just want to go... Somewhere quiet, right? Have a little picnic somewhere. You can go do that. If you want to go hiking, you can do that. If you've got young children who love to be hands on, touch things, and work things out, they've got that. They've got animals there. They've got everything you could ever want. My grandson, both my, oh wow, all three of my grandchildren would love this place. Absolutely love it. I think we'd have to drag my my grandkids away from this crying. Because I would love that place. But I see what you mean. But I really don't think... I really don't think she has anything to do with it. Uh, I really don't think she does. 
even though they do look the same. You know what I mean? But, no, I don't think this woman's involved, or whoever this is, I don't think they are. I think they are just making their way to the car, and this is making, hold on, I'll put it up. I think he's making his way. From here, across. And hopefully, if they've been and done their job, the TBI, FBI, and they've got their quick enough, and they've got the information, they will see if that lad is with anyone else. If he is with that woman, they might be tracking them, tracking them down now. We don't know. We really don't know. And they're not going to tell until they've covered everything. Until and the woman that was in the picture or anyone out seeing with that lad, they're going to want to talk to one who was in the distance of that lad. You know what I mean? Because they might say, did you see this lad? You went there at this day, did you see this lad? And like I say, hmm. to be honest with you, I wasn't really looking. I was more, I don't know, <laughs> seeing me. Oh, I was busy. I was to my car. I had my little one. I was chasing my little one. Anything. But let me speak to everyone and everyone who was within touching or speaking distance of that lag. And anyone I see him talking to, they definitely want to speak to. So it could take that weeks for them to track these people down. I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. So, um, but I do hope they find some, and I hope and pray this is Sebastian, I really do. It would be nice to have a good outcome, wouldn't it? He's got so thousands of, well, I'll put it this way, in that Facebook page, what Facebook page? Um, this one. He's got, so. 35.2K members. Okay, we have got some in there that are, that are for Sebastian, uh, for Chris, CP and KP. Fair they, were, they are entitled to their opinions, as we are entitled to ours. Now, some people put some jokey pictures up. I'm taking my headphones off. Some people put jokey pictures up on these pages. And you got people going, ah, oh, that's... This is it. This is not a joke thing. This is serious. Well, I'm sorry, but when you've been like I, people investigating and doing their research, when all you can watch all day is doom and gloom, because that's what it entails, a lot of doom and gloom, sometimes it's nice. <laughs> it's not nice. It's just... You know what I mean? It's just nice to have a bit of a giggle. It may be at someone else's expense, but it's nice. Such as this one. Why? It's there, this. You know what I mean? Just something like that. It just gives you the giggles and so I think 
as this as this one post appears, right? I'm not sure. So many, so many get personally offended by other people's posts instead of just scrolling on by. This is a discussion group pertaining to everything and everyone about Sebastian. But if you don't like a posting, sometimes I've seen some, and I've just not, not interested. You know what I mean? And like, oh God, this. Uh, but this is just so funny. I also want, right? Because I'm not going to talk the deaf out of this. I'm really not. Because, as I said, until we hear of law enforcement or TBI or FBI, which could be tomorrow, it could be later on today if you're in the USA, um, could be tomorrow for me, it could be two weeks from now, it could be two months from now. Because as I said, they need to speak to everyone they see who has had some sort of contact in those videos on those security cameras with that lad and if that lad was following that woman they need to a find the car b track the car and by the time they've done that sometimes that woman could have been oh sugar someone could have texted her saying you know you you know your pictures are all over facebook with sebastian they're gonna find you now she could be on the run now right but the woman who posted it, she only posted it because the woman who took it, her friend who took the photo, sent it to law enforcement and TPI. And because they didn't acknowledge her email, like, thank you, we are looking into this, because they never said anything like that, she's thinking, well, are they, are they doing anything about this? Are they looking into this? I'll tell you what. And she told her friend, sent it to her friend, and her friend put it on Facebook. That way, it's like, oh, shit, we've got to do something now. It's all over Facebook. We've got to get into action. But like I said, the police don't need to confirm with you on everything. They're not going to. But it would be nice if you sent them in a tip, like an email of a photo, for them just to email back saying, thank you, we are looking into this. You know what I mean? Just some sort of acknowledgement that they have received it and they are looking into it. Perhaps then they wouldn't, people wouldn't be going, okay, I'll blast it all over Facebook and then they can put it all over YouTube and all that. Law. Perhaps then that would not happen because they could, they could say, we are, thank you for that, we are looking into it. Please don't share on any social network site. I'll be going, okay, I won't share, my lips are sealed, right? Because then if she did share it, she can get into trouble. And that's why law enforcement don't like people knowing too much. That's why they don't tell us anything, because it's like, I don't think they are telling KT, uh, KP and CP everything. I really don't. Why would they tell them everything but not Seth? Seth is in law enforcement. He works for the corrections facility. He knows when to keep his mouth shut and when to keep it and when to open it. He knows. Right? But, or have they gave them some false information and they put it out there? Oh God, I put that false in from. So then he's got all us YouTubers up there going, Oh, what's this going on? You know what I mean? Keeping us busy and sidetracked on something else while law enforcement are doing what they need to do. Do you see what I mean? So, anyway, I want to. I've 
let's go to my page for this oh, yeah. I want to show you this now people Hang on, I'm thinking, no, I don't want to go the lights. I'm hanging off on the lights. Right? Put Why is this not? Oh, God, why is it not showing anything? Oh, fine, you know. Right. Oh, I've got to put my headphones back on. I have to put my headphones back on. Right. Right. We're going to go back to the beginning. And it is what and Believe me. Believe me, we are not watching all of this. with it. So you're looking at the black blobs. Before we go there, I'll just it's Jade for Justice podcast. She's the one showing this video. Her link is in the description. So please watch it again and again and again. You can do.
Oh, darn, I just want to answer something. Right? I wonder if KP and Sebastian were being followed from Texas Roadhouse by CP's family. Law enforcement, law enforcement might be keeping that info away from CP because they showed Seth and KP a video at the station without CP. Yet the well, we don't know, but. Would they be showing KP that video? Because if she wouldn't know, if the family followed them from the roadhouse, Texas roadhouse, KP would know that. So would they be showing KP that? And if that was the case, would they not be questioning her more about that? Because... The only videos I know of is the one where they walked out this Texas roadhouse and Seth said he walked to the car where when when we go out for a meal, he'll run skip and run to the car and jump in the car and all this lot. But he just walked to the car with his with his mum. And that's what he said he saw. The other video he said he saw was a do ring doorbell. Which I can't understand that. They've got their setting very at long distance. They must have a very long distance setting on their ring, ring doorbell. Sorry, I've got a bit of a blocked nose. Right, for them to be picking up the movement of them being in the bin stand. They've got to have it, their setting is very a long distance. I couldn't stand that. It would be setting off my ring doorbell every flipping five minutes. Right, but and that's the only ever video he said he saw, but he said it was too grainy and too dark. Right? To tell if it was Sebastian or not. So I don't know if there was any other video. Right, let's continue. Sorry about that, everyone. Now you've seen that, and you can see like this sort of a ruckus going on, right? Now I'm going to... to where she says from the video, the camera that caught... Hold on. Where was it? I didn't watch that much of it, I'm going to watch it again. Right. Right. Now we'll watch it from here. Listen to what she says.
Yep. What vehicle, sir? No, bear in mind, the footage was like your Google Maps. To Sebastian's home. Which is there. She's there, right. Now this footage right, and the lights right, came One oh oh one there came from that camera. Now we've all seen that footage, and you can make out the cars. And apparently, that one. Standard wasn't moving, was either this corner light or maybe a light up there. We're not sure, right? But bearing in mind that is coming quite a distance, you've got across here. I'm here, got there's no leaves on these trees at that time. Of year. Those two lights. We see, I say, belong to this house. I'm going, I'm going to go that way. Right. right. Belong this corner of the lights. It may be their garage lights. So, lights above their garage. I can't tell. I can't even see if there's lights. Is there lights on the corner? There's something on the corner of that house, right? Now, my theory is, okay, it could be the trash trucks because one woman has phoned up and she phoned up several garbage companies. Now, this is a private run company she got in touch with, and I said, yes, they, they come and take all the garbage for that road. Right? What's the name of Stafford Court. And the woman said, do you work at three o'clock in the morning? She said, we actually finish the garbage from Stafford Court at three 30 a.m. And she said, are you joking me? <laughs> because apparently in the city, in the, in the town, in the city itself, there's a, what they call it, like a noise 
something where you can't have anything too loud after 11 p.m. and before 6 a.m. They leave, they haven't got that. They have that restriction. So they can go in at 3.30 and collect their rubbish. Garbage truck. Now, we all know the video was took besides because of all the cars that were on my drive at the time. Now, let's just try and get over here. We know this. Right? We know they had another car or something parked here. There's another car or something parked here. So we know it came from there. This is even, uh, Seth has even said this. Right? Now, I believe those lights came from that house. I don't think it came from a garbage truck running along a road along here. I really don't. But if Seth says it does, and Chris says it does, and law enforcement are telling them it is a garbage truck, and the company itself says they do collect their rubbish at 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30, their road. Right? I could believe that. Can you, can you tell me if you can see I thought CP said just took in my kitchen with the DA. I don't think it did. I'm sure it said you was in that office, in that room, with law enforcement, TBI and DA. I'm sure it did. You know what? You got me perked now. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that horrible, in horrible, vile man. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that again. Anyway. Back to this. We all know it came from this house. We know it did. We know it all come from that house. I even said, first time I see it, I said, that footage has come from that house. Right? Okay. There is some light but there's definitely something up there right i mean no there's something here right we know there's something there it could be that light of the garage static light was moving and the only reason it looked like it was moving because apparently someone was did that zoomed in, zoomed in, right, so that and just focused in on these two lights, and the reason the one light here on the side, the person who was recording it, was off the original film, right, that was recorded small zoomed in piece of those lights. Right? But where now as I said before and I've been saying we know that footage came from this house here. Can you see um C P or KP's house from here? Right? Because I'm a magician. But I know I can't. I can't see CP or KP's house from here. I can't see their garage. Right? I can't see anything. Now, this woman 
who sent this one, this video, who, who was, which was given to Jay for Justice, he's not saying about this video. Yeah, as I said, where's CP? There's no way you can see their garbage. You can't. You can't. Right? But the woman is saying, the woman who gave this video to is saying, it came from. Is it this house? This house. Right? It came from that house. Right. Around. Bearing in mind. Oh God. Sorry. Follow that around. It's got no leaves on this tree at the at this time of year, as you can imagine. Say that that camera picked the focus over there by their drive. Possible if that was the camera that caught the lights, but that isn't the camera that caught those lights. You know what I mean? If they said, "Oh, it was um," what house is he? One oh seventeen Stafford Court, right? If they said it was one oh seventeen Stafford okay, that, that feature okay. I believe what we're seeing, right? But we know it didn't we know it came from one zero zero one one thousand one hundred and one or a thousand and one Stafford Court, which is right. Yeah. Right, there's the camera. We know it was that eyes because of all the cars. Right. And that house, this static light over here, and a little flashlight coming here. Right? 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 You imagine the wind being a bit, could be blowing, yeah? You may not have any leaves on the trees, but the branches were still, <laughs> if there is a wind, the branches are still going to move. I know. I live on the 14th floor, and I can tell if it's windy or slightly windy, just by looking out my window at the trees, right? If it's slightly windy, you see a little bit of movement. If it's one hell of a thing, I don't know, wind, howling wind, A, I hear it, and B, you see the trees actually moving. Right? Now you imagine a wind catch in front of in front of Mother Ma. Mailman or UPS could trigger doorbell. Yeah, but isn't there a distance you can set it? Like I wouldn't want cars if I lived in a house and I get a green doorbell, I wouldn't want Cars setting it off every time they went past or every time they pulled up outside my house. So I'd have it set at say ten feet. No, I'm well, like fifteen feet, say. Yeah, set it at fifteen feet. That's 
from the front door to the curb. So yeah, if you've got a mailman pulling up outside your house, it might trigger that. But it's not going to trigger somewhere across the other side of the road, surely. Yes, Kate. KP sister lives in North Carolina. Oh, Kate, yes, I've heard them. Yeah, I've heard them. And there was some photos put out. And there is one photo very similar to that woman. The only difference is she doesn't have a fringe. But we don't know how old that picture is we're comparing it with. We know the picture with the lag is only a few days old, but we don't know how old that picture of KP's sister is. It could be five years old, where well, she didn't have a fringe, maybe. But no, she has. We don't know. But it so, looks so much like her than anyone else. And like I said, I think there's two versions I've got. One is not a good version. So my second version, and I did say this at the beginning from early on. Right? I thought that perhaps I'd probably, Katie had probably put me in an institution. Right? And then the rumor, word was going about, well, could there be a hangover? Right? Now, there could have been a hangover. Right? But how did they have the clothes for him back at the house for law enforcement to take and to use for the sniffer dogs? Unless those items of clothing that they brought that day the same items that he was wearing, right? And just gave them, right? Or did he get changed into a, into something else? They then done the exchange. He's going off with whoever, thinking, okay, I'm going to go and live with, stay with my aunt or whatever, just for a few weeks while my mum and Chris, CP, sort things out and then I can come home right or did Chris CP arrange it beforehand without Kate knowing without KP knowing that She's going to go to bed about 12 o'clock. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll send her to bed at 12 o'clock because I know she'll be tired. And sometime after 12 o'clock, someone's come into their home. Now, bearing in mind, it couldn't have been a car parked up nearby because the ring doorbells would have set it up, set the doorbells off, right? We know that. It would have been picked up on camera. So could they have carried him out of that house, someone who knows the, the code to the front door, took him out of bed, carried him out of the house, right, shut the door behind him, which locks automatically, so you have to keep punching the code in every time you shut the door. Huh? And carried him to wherever, to a car, and took him that way. But this is risky. That's risky. Because they'd be having, they can be, whoever's got him, if someone's got him, they will be had up for kidnapping. Right, and whatever else they can throw the book at. You know what I mean? So, was he supposed to just go for a few days and stay with this family? But why would you make a 
police report if that was the case. You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't do that. If you was going to let your, have your son go and stay with a family member for a few days or a week or so, maybe a week. Well, no, not even a week. Because the following weekend, Seth would have had see, uh, Sebastian. So they would have had to have had him home by Friday, uh, Thursday. Thursday to Friday morning, ready for when Sebast uh, Seth to come to collect him. So, but why would they arrange for someone to take the son and step son and then make a report? You wouldn't, would you? If you said, look, can you just take our, can you just look after Sebastian for a few days while me and, me and see, uh, Chris sort things out? Right? You, you just do that. You wouldn't put a report in of a missing child. So, unless, as I said, someone's coming in the night and took Sebastian out, and carried him out to somewhere, and got him into a car, it's risky, because that, if he is alive and someone has done that, that's kidnapping, and he's going across state, li state lines as well, if, it is, if that is Sebastian, that's kidnapping, and he's going across state lines, so it's an FBI case now, which is federal, So it's not just a slap on the hand now, if that was the case. They're going to be doing, whoever took him, if that is the case, is going to be doing some time. But you know what? I don't care. As long as Sebastian is found alive and brought home, I don't care about that person who took him or wh how, whatever happened. I don't care whether they... Arranged it with CP or whether it was a hangover with Katie. I don't care because whoever is involved in this, they are going to go down big time. Because Seb Sebastian, if he's alive, will talk. His dad will, get him, will, have, will be able to get him to talk. Or even his grand. You know how he talks to his grand because he trusts his grand not to say anything. Because he might be scared to talk if he is found alive. He might be scared. Until he knows whoever it is behind this has been locked up, he might be scared to actually talk about it. So let's hope, let's keep our. Keep praying, whatever you do. I'm not one, I'm not a church goer, but I pray to God this lad is found. We need a good outcome on this. We really do need a good outcome. And that picture, yeah, I can go up again. This picture is the closest positive. Possible sighting of him. And Seth has said today is is quite adamant. That is Sebastian. And you know what? This is the funny thing about it. Both Seth and KP said at first they are waiting to make sure it's definite, right? They both agreed on that. What did CP say? It's not him. Is he hoping it's not him? Is that what he's hoping? Or is this just another red herring? But this is too light, Sebastian. The way his legs move. You know, as someone said, it would be nice if Seth could tell him how he walked. 
Boy, how he held himself when he walked. Did he, would he hold his arm in front of him like that? Would he hold his arm down to the side or, you know what I mean? Was he pigeon toed? You know what I mean by pigeon toed? I knew a girl who's not knee damn pigeon toed. God damn, she walked, walked, I don't know. But, yeah, was he pigeon toed? You know what I mean? Did he walk slumped or did he walk straight up, holding his body up? Things like that, we need, it'd be nice to know. Because then people who are out there might say, you know what, that lad fits the description, that it looks like him. He's actually walking like we've heard, holding his arm like he does. He's got pigeon toes. Things like that would really help. But all we know is his height, his colour of his hair, the colour of his eyes, what he's last known to be wearing. You can't say last seen to be wearing because at the moment, I don't believe a word that comes out of KP or CP's mouth. So CP, if he wasn't there, as he keeps saying, is going by what KT is telling him. And that is what we're going by, what Katie is saying. He's wearing black joggers like with a white stripe going down the side. These joggers haven't got a white stripe, but come on. We're coming on two months now. If this is Sebastian. He's not going to have the same trousers. He hasn't got the same T-shirt that he was supposed to have walked out the house in. But he is in a photo with that sort of T-shirt on. There is a photo of him with that sort of T-shirt on. So, it's hard to say, and everyone is so, oh, please be this, please, please, please be Sebastian. But as I said, they've got so many people they've got to look into, they've got to track them down, speak to them. You know what I mean? There's so many things they've got to do. They've got, if, if he is with this lady, then they've got to track her down first. Oh, shush up. Shush up. Shush up. Right? So they've got to track her down. So, like I said, there's so much to go on in this case now at the moment with the FBI tracking this woman down or whoever she is or even tracking anyone else that they see him with. Right? Uh, what is this? Was that three hour phone call CP distracting? Was that three hour phone call CP distracting KP while CP's family took Sebastian? That was good. No, because Katie said she heard that thud and she thought it fell out of bed. And she said, Is that you, Bubba, falling out of bed again? And then she said, He replied, No, mum. I said, well, whatever it is you're doing, go to, you got to go to sleep. you got to go to bed, go to sleep. She said she spoke to him. Right? Plus, she was in the living room. From the living room, right, you can actually see their front door. Because you come through their front door and you've got a door I'm opening on your left-hand side where the dining table is, but then you can walk straight up into the living room, and then from the dining room, you've got two entrances, three entrances off that dining room area. Two into the living room area, and one into the kitchen area. Right? But there's another entrance way from that passageway, from the front door. So I'm sure she would have heard the door opening or even felt a breeze come from that door. So I don't think that was a distraction, right? This is why I keep leaning to my first. I think something happened on a Sunday night. 
Something definitely happened on the singing out. Mainly because of what she said in that first interview and then what she said in her last interview. Right? She said something in the first interview, then she did another interview with another YouTuber and she said something there and then and but stopped mid sentence and then in her last interview she did she said the word that one word. The right, I'll go through it now. The first interview, she said, I went into his room and woke him up. And he was gone. How can you wake someone up if they're not there? Right? Then in the never interview, she's telling them how she got in the car. And she's driving around, and she's going up by the school, said, and she turned around and said, I was going up by the school, I was driving around, but he was, and then stopped. But he, he was what? He, but he what? What? She stopped mid-sentence. Was she going to say, but he was already dead? He was, you know what I mean? We don't know. We don't know. But she stopped mid-sentence. Then in the very last interview she did, she said, this is a tragedy. Yes, it is a tragedy if he died in his sleep. That is a tragedy. If he's died in his sleep and you've... Why didn't you just report it to the police? I think that thought was, he's bumped his head somehow. Right, I think the mother and Sebastian had an argument. He's probably banged his head. Look at that time when Sebastian uh, Seth said he was going to they was going to go swimming. Right, and Sebastian hadn't cleaned his room up or made his bed or anything. So when he went back, he said, "Well, I'm going to go swimming." Then, and Sebastian got really angry. And went running towards uh, Seth, but then tripped over something on the floor, and and his head was heading his head was going towards the door. So Seth put his hand out there to save his head from hitting the door. Right? He then told his mum that his dad had hit him. He had he put his hand there to protect him from hitting the door because he didn't want him to hit his head. Yeah, you know, could something like that have happened on a Sunday night with his mum and Sebastian? Possible. But perhaps they didn't realise it was that bad. And he's gone to bed. He's finally gone to sleep. And that's when he's passed. But instead of reporting it to the police, she's panicked. You know what I mean? And there's been a handover where she put him in the car. I'm driving around, met someone, handed him over. And that. But that is my opinion. Just my opinion. Just on those three little things that she said. That is my opinion. But I hope and pray I am I am wrong. I hope and pray that this lad here on the screen. This lad here is Sebastian. Because my God, he looks like him. From all the pictures I've seen of him. And I've seen loads. He looks like Sebastian. But I truly don't think he was with this woman. I think maybe there was something else over here. He probably already stepped onto the roadway. And he was coming this way to join them, to go over. Right? I truly think he was doing that.
Because... What? Coming along here. <laughs> Behind him, stepping across these rocks here. And Sebastian was there going. Sebastian was there heading that way. As I said, if he's with that woman, right? I believe that woman come out of here. She probably been to the washroom. Perhaps this guy is with that woman. I don't know. Perhaps they've both been to the washroom. And the guy's come out. He's cut across there. The woman's come out. And ran that way. And they're heading towards the car park over here. Yep. Sebastian was there. No fees with that. Why? Would you be stepping off the stone that way to go there? Why wouldn't you just go that way? Or even walk around the road like to get to here to cross over. Why would you be getting off the curb there just to follow that woman around that way? It doesn't make sense. He would have gone that way. Or he'd have gone and followed the woman. He wouldn't be stepping off this curb here. I think he was with someone else. And that person wasn't caught on a camera. I think that person could be over here somewhere. Right? Over here. And he's following them across. Because like I said. Right? Behind there, right? if he's cutting across here, let's go here, right, to go around here, there's a pathway, now there's this place here, I don't know what that place is, I really, look, this thing of a car park, all over that place. So if he was with someone, that could be making a way to this car park. That's what I think. I don't think that woman has anything to do with him. I really don't. I just think she's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because... Let me see it again. See what I mean from that photo? He's coming that way. She's going that way. If he was with this woman, do you not have just come followed her that way? Would you not be on here? Or if he was going to step across those stones, would you not go the way that man's gone? And go that way. But he's think he's coming this way. Not. So, but that three-hour phone call is, I must admit, Karen, is, is it a natural thing they did? Did they do these three-hour phone calls when he was at work? You know what I mean? Because don't forget, she was also reading some something she was doing at college because she's back at school. So she's doing some work on her book, on some reading or whatever. So she's reading that, talking to Chris, right? Was she even paying attention to what Sebastian was doing? No. So when she heard that, and we've only got her word for this, that she heard a thud. She didn't even go and check on him. No. No. I think something's happened, right? When she wanted him to go to bed, he wasn't having it. Big argument started, right? And then it finally settled down, right? Because Chris doesn't mention anything about that thought. 
Now, he would have been on the phone with Katie when that sort happened. I think they've had an argument before that phone call. I think Katie and uh, Sebastian had an argument. He's finally, something happened. He's gone to bed. Right? Now, how a door ring bell can see lights going on and off, I don't know. How would a door lights of a bedroom trigger a ring doorbell? I do not know. Please tell me that. I don't know. Because we're only going on ring doorbells. Was it a home security video that caught it on camera? The bedroom lights going on and off. That's more like it. But not a ring doorbell. Ring doorbell isn't going to... Lights being switched on in a house is not going to set a ring doorbell off. It's not. Unless a car's gone past at the same time, which has triggered the ring doorbell, for it then to see it come on, the lights come on and go off. But I seriously believe there's a bit of a ruckus between his mum and Sebastian when she said, I told him to go to bed. And then she's on the phone to Chris, saying, and she's going on about Sebastian being awkward, not wanting to go to bed. But don't forget, he's just had one hell of a day. His sense, it's going to be sensory overload for him. Sensory overload is not the word I wouldn't even use. And I think she's on the phone to Chris saying how Sebastian's been reeling or he wouldn't settle down, he wouldn't go to bed. I've had an argument with him. Bum, bum, bum. He's finally settled down now. Right? And he's, you don't know if he put, if she said, put him on the phone. You don't know if she, if he said, put Sebastian on the phone and she took the phone through to him and he spoke to Sebastian on the phone and said, you wait till I get home. You wait. That poor lad was living in fear. I think that was a term used for him. Wait till I come home. Because that lad would be in fear every day, never knowing when Chris was going to walk through those doors. Right. But unfortunately, because of the ruckus he had with his mum in the bedroom about nine o'clock, God is always with you today. Hi there. Where are Leaf on that picture? I'm talking about Pine Tree either. Well, so, there's been a couple of people on YouTube, like subscribers to YouTube channels. Not, not on my channel. I'm not that lucky. We have actually gone up there who live local and they've gone up there and they took photos of the area, the same post, everything. And it shows you there's no leaves on those trees, nothing on them trees at this time of year yet. Higher up in the mountains, on the hillsides and whatever, yes. But here, by the centre, no. I wish I could. I wish I knew what sort YouTube it was. But these are YouTubers who've got big followings, and people who live close to these places and whatever, and will go out and do some legwork for them. So, but that is. What they've got, they've got the same picture of that stump, and you can see these trees at the back. You know, I'm pointing at the screen with my fingers, and I'm thinking, they can't see me. You can see these trees in the background, they are all bare still. So, perhaps I'm not ready for the leaves yet to come out. I don't know what type of tree it is. I wish we could compare some. Um, I wish we could compare. Plus, I don't get all these grifters and scammers in this case, too. 
God. And like I said, my channel isn't big enough yet to even get monetized. Right? But I think if I was if I was monetized, whatever I got that night of doing a video on Sebastian on this on whatever child, right? I would keep a tally of it, right? And at the end of the month, put it towards one of these billboards they've got out there or something like that because I don't believe in people making money off children. I know you did, I know you did. I know you didn't, God is always with you today. I know you did. But what I'm saying, if I could, that is what I would do. I would just tally it all up every night. Right? Because when you pay through YouTube, right, I think you get paid that money every month. I don't know how it works with YouTube. Unless they pay it straight to their cash app or their PayPal or v Venmo, which I haven't got any of. Well, I've got a PayPal, but that PayPal is uh, assigned to another group I run for children where I live. Right? So it's mainly for people who want to put donations towards toys or whatever in Scotland for children at Christmas time, right? So I haven't got a PayPal account I can use on this now. And I won't be opening one up either. So if once I can get monetized, if anyone wants to help, it'll be through YouTube. And I think it's every month then you get paid. I don't know how it works. I'd have to look up at that. But I think it's every month. So what I do then, that money, I tell you all. And I'll pay it to whatever. Think about this. We put all TikTokers and YouTube made money. I bet we all could be. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I could do. I would, if I was monetized, I would even each month say, Seth, I've got a check here. I want to send you. Or oh, I've got this money. I want to send to your to the cash shop. Can you please put it to the reward? You know what I mean? I could do that. I know some people spend a lot of money getting the uh, research all the information they need, right? But a lot of them don't make that much money, but there are some that are making a big money. Like, there's one guy, I was watching him at first. Well, I wasn't watching him at first. Then all of a sudden, I watched one of his YouTube channels. And then all of a sudden, you could only watch it if you went on his... Um, What's that other thing they do? Where you have to pay to be a member of it. Right? I'm thinking, so if I pay you so much each month, right, I can watch that video. No, it's not happening. Not happening. So because of that, no, I will not watch him no more. I won't. Right? And... Uh, if if the time comes where I can get monetized and I have memberships, my membership would be like, what, a pound? 99p or a pound? You know what I mean? And I won't be charging 2 99 3 99 4 99 I know one who has um, a membership where something like $25. Okay, like, what? And there's people. Who pay? I'm going, what? You know what I mean? Come on. Yes, we put a lot of work and effort into this, but some YouTubers don't. Some YouTubers get all their mods to do all the running about. Right? They get them 
mods to do all their running back, get all their information from. I know one in particular that does that, and I'm not going to say the name, right? But I'm not even a member of their page, right? Because I don't agree with how she works. I don't agree with it. Right? So, I'm thinking, are you stupid? $25 a month you're paying this lady to just sit there and babble along. It's not her doing the research. It's her mods. And she's not paying her mods anything. I mean, it just so annoys me. So there's, but there are, I would, if I, like, you can earn as well off the um, adverts. So if on replay, if anyone was watching on replay, right, I've got it set where you don't have to pay, don't get adverts. But I've also heard that even though you've got it set so you, when I watch a YouTube channel, I don't get any adverts because that's what I'm paying for. But when my subscribers, when the time comes, when my subscribers come, uh, when I can get monetized, and I have set for adverts to come on, it doesn't matter whether I say no adverts for replays or not. Because it doesn't matter, they will put adverts in anyway, whether you say so or not. I'm thinking, well, if that's the case, then why am I paying this money to have no adverts if they're going to put adverts in it? So if I find out once I get monetized, they are putting adverts in, even though I've set it to no adverts, right? If I find out they are putting adverts in, then I'll cancel my payment with YouTube where I'm paying so much a month to have no adverts, I'll just cancel it because they're not getting that money off me each month plus the money off the adverts. They're not going to get two lots of money off me each month. If they're going to do it, I'd rather have that percentage of money come towards me. <coughs> <coughs> So then I could probably donate it to good causes. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm here for the children. I'm not... I've been doing this now since, what, beginning of February, middle of February, something like that. And I pay for this every month at my own pocket. Why? Right? I pay for my internet because I use internet daily. I pay... I brought the laptop, I brought the new mic, right? I pay all my uh stream streaming apps, I pay for that myself. Now, if I can afford to run it now, what difference is it gonna be in six months time? Oh, I can't afford to run it no more. But I could six months ago, but you can't now. <laughs> it it just makes sense. So Yes, eventually I will get monetized. But like I said, if it's a case like this I'm working on, then whatever money I get that night or that month from those videos, I will put towards the reward money or the billboards or something like that. But I know what you mean. There are scammers and there are grifters, I know. And I hate people that do the click bait. Ooh, I hate that. If you've ever noticed my titles, I've just claimed. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, we will find you. Because it's true, we will find you. I'm not, sca I'm not saying, oh, uh, Sebastian's been found, so everyone's clicking on you. No, no. What? CPC, CPCPS custody case was extended because of Sebastian's missing. Yeah. CP and his family collaborate to take Nina's baby. Yeah, they are evil. 
He sing be any wang ye that little girl. No wang ye. Now, did you hear that phone call that I played yesterday? I don't know if you've heard it. If not, go and listen to it last night, one. When Chris first met Katie, she had two cats. That Sebastian loved. Sebastian loves cats. Do you know what Chris said? It's me, all the cats. And you can guess who she, who she, uh, who she chose. She chose Chris over the cat so that so she got rid of the cat, we home jump. So there's two cats that Sebastian had that got rehomed because of Chris. Then he was giving a snake. And then because um they didn't have the time and patience to sit with him and work with him. Right? to help him understand how to look after these snakes, after the snake properly. It's not something where you can say, well, you've got to do this. You've got to clean all the sawdust guys or what, the, whatever you have on the bottom. You've got to put fresh water in daily. You've got to, and the mice or rats that you give them, you can get frozen. Well, you have to defrost them first. So you've got to keep them in a container to defrost. And my son used to dip them then in warm water or hot water, put the mouse in his the snake tank, so then the heat would come off the mouse and the snake would find it. Right? You've got to explain all that to a child, a 15-year-old autistic lad with a, a, bra a cap capacity of a, like a 10 to 11-year-old, yeah? You've got to explain all that and work with that child but they didn't have the time or patience to do that so because he wasn't looking after the snake properly they got rid of his snake he never met up with any friends he never had any friends he never got invited anywhere that lad had no one and nothing that's why i hope we find him and I hope we can get him to his dad because his dad, I know, I'm sure his dad will let him have a cat. You know what I mean? I don't want a snake, but a cat, yes. I'll get him a cat. In fact, if I find, if he's my son and I find him alive tomorrow, the first thing I will go and buy him is a cat. I'll get him a kitten straight away and let him know. Like DCFS are going to keep control of Sebastian for a while if they find him alive. They're not going to send him back to his dad straight away and they're definitely not going to send him back to his mom and stepdad. Right? Not until they know exactly what happened. Right? Then he should never go. And if he's got anything about him, this lad should say he doesn't want to go back to his mom and stepdad. He should say, he go, I don't want to go back to them. I want to go back to my dad. You know what I mean? Seth loves that boy. This boy is Seth's life. So we need to find him. And all I can say is anyone, if you see any sightings, whether you think it's him or not, if it looks like Sebastian, I don't care if it, right? If it looks like him, phone, Law enforcement straight away. Phone them. No hesitation. Just phone them. Not TBI. Phone the local law enforcement straight away. Then, if you've got a photo or a little bit of a video, maybe, send it to TBI. Try and get as much information from that, from who he's with. What car was he in? And things like that. CP and family alert, ex wife chain. Yes, I did. Exactly. They couldn't, that way, she, it wasn't kidnapping. No. The judge even said to her, Why did you move back here? Move here. And she said, To, to save my marriage. 
And he said, you should never come back here. And she said, I wish I hadn't now. I know. And that's when she was handed custody of her daughter. So... Yes, I've watched that interview and it's heartbreaking. And the fact that she's still fighting now to keep her daughter away from him is disgusting. This has been going on for, what, six, seven years? Six or seven years this is going on. So, anyway. I hope I've debunked some things. Just this for Jay podcast she wasn't saying she believed what she saw she's just stating it's a it's a possibility it's a possibility it could have come from that house what she's saying but law enforcement have said it well chris and seth said the video came from one z one oh oh one scattered court right now, the house they're looking at, which they think the video could come from, is 1017 or something like that. So, it's possible. Are the police telling us everything is correct? Now, there's three versions out there now of this light system. Sebastian has a size 10 shoe. You can't well in that picture though. What size it is, if it's a big shoe or not. I'm hopeless at telling sizes of shoes, I really am. Suppose someone who works in the shoe industry might be able to say, by looking at that, say, yeah, that's a size eight or that's a size ten. You know what I mean? I'm a bit like cars. What what type of car was he? Well, it had four wheels, four doors. <laughs> That's me in cars, and it gets me from A to B. Don't ask me to make a car. Don't ask me the registration, because I wouldn't know. But I don't drive, so I'm quite safe. People are safe. I don't drive. So, I just hope this is Sebastian. But like I said, it can take weeks for all the information to be collected. Right, once I've looked at all the video from that place. And as I said, they're going to have trial cams. They're going to have to check all them trial cameras from where the hikers go along to see if he walked along any of them and to see if he was with anyone when they walked along them trial cams. Trials. So they've got so many cameras they've got to look at. It's not something they can just say, oh yeah, that's Sebastian. They can't do that. They've got to find everyone and cross them off the list. All right? And this is not going to take a day or two. This is going to take a while. And once they've got the information, if it's not Sebastian, I'm sure. Law enforcement and TBI will have to come through then and tell us this is not Sebastian. Why? Because we've actually seen the video. If if this woman hadn't put this out on Facebook, we wouldn't have known about this. And I sometimes think, would they talk Seth or Katie? I don't care about Chris. Is a vile narcissistic Ugh. bloke. But would they have told them about this video if it hadn't been put out on, on Facebook? But now we know about this, it's forcing TBI and law enforcement and FBI to do something now. They can't just wipe this under the carpet. This is a possible sighting. And it's been blasted all over Facebook. Bedroom window. What about the bedroom window, Karen? 
Apparently, um, it, I heard is a camera. I'm going if it's a ring doorbell, but I'm going to have a ring doorbell camera. Could I don't see how bedroom light being turned on and a bedroom light being turned off would activate a ring doorbell unless a car went past at the same time. Right. But apparently they've got it on video of his bedroom light being turned on and off. They said he wouldn't climb out the window because there's big bushes outside his bedroom. No, there isn't. There's little bushes. Little bushes. Not big bushes. So we could have climbed out the bedroom window. And I don't think it would have set off. As I said, unless a car was going past at the same time as him climbing out the bedroom window, it's not going to set off a ring doorbell. <laughs> and if he stayed to the back of the houses, yeah, okay, it may have set off some um, security lights. But a lot of people put that down to a stray, uh, stray cat or someone out walking a dog. You know what I mean? You've got to take a dog for a walk when it needs a pee. It needs a pee. You've got to take him out at 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 or 4. You've got to take that dog out. So they can put it down to a dog walker maybe setting off them security lights at the back. But then again, it was all in black. Coincidental. He could have probably got past that bottom house with the with the camera. He could have probably got past all these cameras because it was so dark. So he could have probably he could have possibly run away. Anything is open at the moment, but this is just too much, too much of a coincidence to be like Sebastian to not be Sebastian, if you know what I mean. Too much. I don't know who the woman is. She may not have anything to do with it. And I really go. And as someone said, there was, what, 32,000? I don't know if I find that. Right. Super loans, when it comes up. In this mysterious disappearance of Sebastian Rogers, there's 35.2k members in this one. Um, following Sebastian Rogers' case discussion, there's 19k members. What else? Sebastian Rogers, how many is in there? I don't think there's that many in this one. Oh, no, there isn't. But there's 7.7k members in Sebastian Rogers' missing Tennessee. So, surely, surely, out of just those three Facebook pages, someone surely knows who this woman is. They've got to. They've got to, I'm not saying they've got to. They've got to be someone of all those people. Hi, Robbie. There's got to be someone. All those people on those Facebook pages who knows this woman. It's, and the fact that she has not come forward says, well, perhaps she can, not on social media. Waving back, Robin. I'm waving back. Right. One of these weeks, I'll put myself up there. Bye. I'll put myself up on the video one of these weeks. But right now, my mic is literally covering my face. <laughs> You're not going to see much of my face because my mic is right in front of my flipping face. Maybe this child supposed to be Sebastian is... Oh, God, I'm left at my mouth. Right, maybe this child's supposed to be Sebastian. Is he with this woman just saying? Well, as I said, if you think about it, oh, I'm, I'll try and pull it up again. 
out, right? That woman, and this, this is where Sebastian was, right? The woman was going this way, right? Whether she's going to cut across these rocks here, we don't know. But she's going this way because there's a wall way there. That leg. Oh, God, come on. Oh, come on. Then goes to a car park, right? Now, if this lad, who we call Seb, Sebastian, was with this woman, right, why would he be going that way? Would he not have just come this way around the rocks, over the rocks? She was coming this way. If he was with her, would he not have been coming this way? I don't think he was with that woman. As I said, we don't know. Oh, no, I've got to move my mic over. We don't know if um, there was someone here he was with. There could be someone else here. Because the woman who took the photo was obviously over here somewhere. He took the photo. <coughs> right, because she caught that log. There's a log there. That log thingy. Right, I got. Oh. Um, um. Right, now, bear in mind, that log thingy. Right, so she's got this over here in it, and she got this. She got using it. Look at that picture. Stones. You get the cars over here. Not saying those are the cars, right? Because this was a uh, 2017. This image was captured, right? But you've got this look. So the camera is coming over this way towards these cars. Put them rocks there. It's called Sebastian. So I'd say she's over here somewhere. Maybe here. Don't know, but she's definitely over this way. But Sebastian was going that way. He was going this way. He was with that woman. Why would he not just come this way? That's why I don't think... A mother couldn't hold herself to oh, um, a mother can hold herself together if Sebastian Sebastian accidentally and unintentionally died. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't be able to hold myself together, I know I wouldn't. <coughs> because what would be the point in not telling the police the truth if that was an accident? Why don't you just tell the police the truth? If Chris has said, look, you can't tell the police, we've got to, because this would take any chance of me getting my daughter. Well, I'm sorry, Chris, but you've got a missing child now. So you're not going to get your daughter. They're not going to confirm anything at the moment. As I said, when they get their cameras, they've got all the trials, right? They've got all them trials. Right, hold on, let's just take this off. Right, yeah, let's take this off. You've got all these trials. Hold on, I'm going to pull them up. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, you got all these trails over here. I can mark the trails out. This is parking lot. Parking lot. 
for high kids. Right? Got a trial here. Yeah, that takes you to the Mile High Beach. Right? Up to the peak. The Grandfather Mountain Peak. Yeah, up to there. So you got that trail there. So you're going to have cameras, trial long here. You're going to have trial cameras on the Mile High Beach. Yeah? You've got cameras there. And you look at this. Oh, come on. What's here? Right? Got this trail. Yeah? They've got to Look at all those trail cameras. Yes, Robin, Katie needs to be the one talking. But you know what? She won't. And to be honest with you, she's probably doing the right thing by not talking. All right, because... If this does go, and I don't care what people say, if there was a DA in that office when they showed Seth and Katie those videos of them leaving the Texas Roadhouse and the ring doorbell, if the district attorney was in that office, then this is a criminal investigation because a DA would not be there otherwise. Because they will just keep saying, no, sorry, you've got, not got enough evidence. No, go back. Come back when you've got more evidence. Come back when you've got more. You know what I mean? She won't talk because she knows she doesn't know how. Doesn't know how and she doesn't know what to say. No, because Chris is her mouthpiece. Look at Summer Moon. Summer Moon, Utah Wells. John wasn't there, right? But who was doing all the talking? John. John. Because if you notice in that one interview this they did, I think it was near the beginning, she slipped up. Because, uh, what's her name now? The mother. She slipped up. She said, if I was there, that they they would not have hurt her. How would you know she's been hurt? If you was there, they would they would not have hurt her or something like that. She said. I thought, oh, done. That's strange. How she? Why would you say they wouldn't hurt her if you was there? So, and then Don was the one doing all the talking. Yep. And he would only talk to people who was a yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir. If he came across a YouTuber or anyone who wasn't that sort of person, then he didn't want to talk to them. And this is what's happening now. Chris won't talk to any YouTuber who's not prepared to be a yes sir, no sir man. Right? Katie won't do an interview. She did that one interview the other week. And she, I've only watched it once and I'm going to have to sit and watch it again. But the one word that's come out to me was tragedy. Right? So she dropped a big bob at there, in my opinion. Big bob. Just the word tragedy. And she's only on there, what, for what, three minutes? Three minutes, and she dropped herself in it then. 
So she's not good. But I am a bit worried about Katie, to be honest with you. Because we've not seen her and we've not heard of her since that interview. Since that interview, we've not seen her, we've not heard of her. Right? So, is she okay? Does someone need to do a welfare check on her? I don't know, I'm just saying. Oh, and I've also heard, apparently, she's going back to work on Monday. Which, okay, I understand, you've got to go back to work. Right? At least then, she won't be down in Mississippi, or where, wherever she is. She'll be at home. Because that's where she works from, in Hendersonville and all that, that lot. And there's other parents of children have gone missing. And they've had to go back to work, you know what I mean? The car staff work indefinitely, they need the money. They've got to pay bills still. And I'm sure Seth will have to go back eventually. So... But, you know, um, we'll see. But that's what I've heard, that she's supposed to be going back to work on Monday. But we'll see. Because at the moment, they've only got his wages coming in. They haven't got her wages and they've got a mortgage to pay. I know where you're coming from, Robin. Right? And, yes, it has only been two months or... 60 something days now, you know what I mean? I know where you're coming from. But it might be a mean uh, where she has to go back to work. Right? As I said, there's got a mortgage to pay, they've got bills to pay, they've got. Well, they haven't got bills at the house to pay, apart from what. I don't know if you have water rates over there. I suppose you still have to pay for your internet over there, even if you're there or not, because I know I do. If I'm here or not, I still have to pay for my internet. She gets a pension from, oh yeah, she gets a pension from the Navy. So, yeah. So, we'll see. Well, at least if she's back at work, she's back at home. That's how I look, with. So, I don't know. But eventually, she's going to have to go back to work sooner or later. The car's day, sad to say, it could be two years down the road. It's got to go back some time. Right. Michael Vaughan, his mother has had to go back to work. She went back to work. He's been missing three years this year. This year it's been three years. The same as some of He went missing. Literally, like, um, four weeks after Summer Moon, Utah, Wells went missing. But they have got four, they have named four persons of interest in that case, in Michael Vaughan's case. So I think they're just building up the case now. But it's not easy on the mother. It's not easy on the father. You know what I mean? Knowing that these people are still out there. What age was Chris when his mother married his step? I don't know. I did hear once. Stepdad threatening an ex-wife with a bat and said, get off and pop it off. Yeah, I know. It threatened to bash her and her children's heads in. 
You know what I mean? Because what had happened is she had to go into hospital for something. So, um, CP's sister had uh, two older children and CP's mother and stepfather had the daughter, Faith. When she come home, the sister-in-law was in, just pulling up in the car with the two kids. Right? She said, I can't stop. I've got to go sort of thing. And just drove away. And then she stayed there waiting on her daughter to come back. And then all of a sudden the door goes and it's the father or stepfather or someone with a baseball bat threatening to get out of this house. Right? Get out of the house before I smash yours and your children's heads in. And that's when she phoned her mother and her father up and I said, Right, we're coming to get you. And but she couldn't get Faith because Faith was with Chris and his mum. But she couldn't stay there because of the threat that the stepfather had made towards her. I'm not sure if it was the stepfather or some brother or other relative. Right. But because of that threat, she couldn't stay in that house. Which is sad. But she's got her daughter back now. But she's still fighting to keep her daughter. And this is not going to look well on him at all in court. This is not. Everything that has come out in this case, she's going to be throwing at him in court. If she's got any sense, she'll be logging every vile interview he's done. And have it put there in court. Just to show what sort of person he, he is. I think the other night in that telephone interview, she did a brilliant job. I could not have sat there for that long with him on the phone. I really couldn't. Because he's flirting and everything, wanting to meet up with her in person. Where the hell was Katie? He's supposed to, supposedly, in bed. Where was Katie? Do they share the same bed when they're at home? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Do you know what? I don't know. But his uh, half-brother, sure yeah, I'm sure it's his half-brother, doesn't have anything to do with any of that family, any of his family. He said so near the beginning of this investigation, of this case with Sebastian. No, we can't forget how devious he is. He is devious. And this will all come out in his case, court case, believe me. This is all going against him in that court case because it is never, because until Sebastian is found and brought home, and hope to God he's alive, Chris, because if he isn't, yeah, chances of you getting your daughter or even seeing your daughter again will be zero. Zero. Right? But they made out that the reason he was staying in his camper was because uh, apparently they're having difficulties in their marriage, possibly. But I also say it's because there was an open case of him with the CPS with that incident which happened with Sebastian in January. And they said, you need to move out of the house while this investigation is open. Right? And then all of a sudden... He can't come home on the weekends because we couldn't understand why would you not come home on the weekends? 
on your straight away. When I found out he wasn't even coming home on weekends, I said, because there's an open investigation out on him with CPS. Because John was the same. He was told he wasn't allowed to stay in the home while that investigation was going on. And he was told the same. You can't stay in the home while there's an investigation going on. So I think perhaps Kaiju's would have a go at Sebastian. It's your fault that Chris can't be here. You know what I mean? Sort of thing. I think that got thrown in Sebastian's face all the time. And then I think Sebastian, they put the phone on to Sebastian to Chris. And Chris would probably say something like, you wait till I get home. So then the poor lad is petrified knowing what's coming towards him at any given time. Never knowing when Chris would walk through those doors, if that was the case. But I truly believe Chris would get on the phone to him. He'd get Katie to put him on the phone. Right? And I think that interview the other night with the PIs and everything, that showed his true colours. It really, really did. Anyway, I've been on here. Oh my God, three and a half hours. I've got to take my, 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 my tablet as well. Anyway, so I'm going to say, I take this off the screen. I'm going to say good night. Thank you all for being here with me tonight. Please. If you haven't already, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It really does help get that video out there. Yeah. Yeah, I played that earlier on this. If you want to watch back, we watch it. Do so because I've got that clip. Um, here. Hold on, I've just got to get something off. It's on repeat, isn't it? Yeah, it's on a loop. Right, I have got that on here. So if you want to watch it back, just fast forward it, put it on 1.5 or whatever to get through to that clip. And um, I've got it on here. I, I was actually watching. T Rev this morning because I was like watching it on replay and that was the first call that come in. But wow, that's a way to start a show, isn't it? You know what I mean? Anyway, if you haven't already, as I said, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to stay updated. You don't have to. Just your choice. And please share. And leave me a comment. I do get back to all comments, right, either with a little heart or I actually do reply sometimes to some comments. So please, right, support me that way. And I will be back. What day are we on now, Wednesday, Thursday? I'll be back tomorrow night. And I'll see you then. Thank you for now. Bye. <laughs>